Guys, I want to show you how to paint your lightning grill. If you have the argent gray and you want to paint it like a black or a different color. This is the process you're going to use to paint that grill. So you're going to take it off. There's like six or eight 10 millimeter bolts. There's a whole other video series on uh, that other people have put out on how to take the grill off. So I'm not going to get into that, but I want to show you the grill, show you the process that we use to paint the grill. So, so this is the grill. We've taken it off the truck. You're going to use a red scotch bright pad and you want to sand all of the edges of this grill. So make sure you get down in all of these edges. So take your, take your button out of the, uh, of the front release remove the Ford emblem and sand this grill down to where it's nice and dull. We're going to spray an adhesion promoter and then we're going to spray a coat of base, maybe two, and then we're going to shoot a coat of clear coat. The base coat that we like to use is a Ford factory color. It's UH from like a 2010 to 2014 F-150. It has a whole lot of pearl in that black. So it's really, really pops in the sun, but in the, in the, in the not in the sun, it just looks like a black platinum grill. So we're gonna shoot the Transtar 1031 uh, adhesion promoter on that grill, just a light coat of it first to kind of open the pores of the plastic. Then we're gonna shoot our Wanda base coat, and then we're gonna shoot the Wanda 8100 2K clear on top of that. It's probably about an hour process if you know what you're doing, probably two or three in a shop if you're just doing it as a DIY. You can do this at your home shop. If you've got a Harbor Freight paint gun, it will work. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. So the, the $200 Black Widow paint gun from Harbor Freight will work and, and you don't have to have $800 paint guns and you don't have to have $10,000 paint booths. So when you're wiping this down, <laughs> Scratch that grill up really good with the scratch bright, blow it off, and then you'll clean it a couple of times. We use Sprayway Glass Cleaner. It's a uh, good cleaner to clean the base of these grills so you don't have any residue left on, so on the top of the surface that won't keep the, uh, that'll keep the paint from adhering. So we're using a uh, Develvis paint gun, but you don't have to have an expensive one. Pick yourself up a filter for your, for your airline. That'll protect the moisture and contents out it's not perfect it's not as good as the high-end ones but it's pretty it works pretty well you want to set this gun about 20 psi it doesn't have to be very much one light coat you can see it's got a little bit of shine to it right now we'll let that dry for about 15 minutes and that'll open the pores up that that will take the base coat okay so we got our first coat of base coat on it laid out really good. We're gonna do a couple of coats. See all the pearl in that base coat. We'll let that dry for about 20 minutes. Do another coat. Okay, so we got our two coats of base coat on. It's lots of pearl. We're gonna put uh, two coats of clear on this. We're gonna spray this at about, oh, about 17 PSI and full, full, full coverage. So we got our last coat of clear on. Let's check out this grill and see how it came out. 